How's it going everyone? It's the Manga Sloth here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make one of these. A riser shelf. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And it will allow you to double your manga space on any bookshelf with deep shelves. You go from this to now that looks so much nicer. You got two full rows and you're able to see the spines. We collect these folks. We want to see the spines. Up top here is what I'm trying to avoid. I have all of bleach. Look at that. But I can't show it off. Behind here is just stacks of bleach and we don't get to look at all those spines. They're just hidden. This is what we want to do. I want to double my space while making it look good. This is a cheap Ikea Billy knockoff that you can get from Target for $30 and it works pretty well. But these riser shelves will work for any shelves like I said. A lot of you out there have the Ikea Billy shelves and these work just as good on those shelves and they save you money. Why? Because let me show you. Right here's my Billy shelf that you've seen in the collection video. And right now I have riser on each shelf. What that allows me to do is instead of buying a Billy shelf and then buying like two more shelves. Like what people do to have eight and have single rows. This allows me to just keep it with the six but have double rows each one. I technically have 12 shelves showing. And it shows all the spine. So you go from 350-ish to over 550 volumes on one Billy bookshelf. So I'm gonna teach you how to make one of these shelves. Let me clear this off and let's get started. All you need for this part, it's super easy, is something to measure with. You need three measurements and that's it, very simple. You need the width of the stand, the height of the stand, and the length width, height, length, and they are easy to find. You can do this with any shelf. I'm gonna show you how I measure for mine. All you have to do is do the exact same measurements for yours to find what you want and need. First things first, we're just gonna measure the inside here. And it says 23 and a quarter inches. So very important here, in my opinion, do not do quarter inches. And what I mean is my length is 23 and a quarter inches. I'm only gonna cut the length to 23 so it can slide in and out easy and it's not going to catch on the sides it won't matter and it will help you out a lot in the long run trust me now the height is up to you you can space your shelves as high or as low as you want and what i like to do is i get two manga volumes regular ones because i like having the back row be all regular size the front row can hold bigger books that are taller, like these blue flag books here, just easy. Any hard covers, anything like that. So what I do is I get one regular book, which is about seven and a half inches, you can measure these, and I subtract it from the inner height of this shelf. So this shelf is 13 inches. So I do 13 inches minus seven and a half, and I get five and a half inches. And that's about where I want the height of this. And as you can see, the height is five and a half inches high. Now the height of these, I probably wouldn't go lower than four inches because the lower you go, it will hide more and more of the back spine. And you kind of want to show it off, but you don't want it rubbing against the top or anywhere. So I would stay between four and six inches, I think would be the best. And the width is super easy. It's five inches and the reason for that is a regular manga volume is five inches if not a smidge bigger and you don't want it longer than that and protruding out. You actually want it a little shorter if possible. So five inches is max but I would not go below four and a half inches. So go four and a half to five inches for width. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you in for a close up on how to build these. And I'm gonna show you all the things you need to build these risers. All right, here we are for the close up. These are the items that you will need. You will need wood, scrap wood. Obviously, we're making this out of wood. You will need a tape measure. You will need a drill. You will need a saw. 
You will need a knife. You will need a screwdriver. You will need a second tape measure. A hatchet will help you a lot. A big roll of duct tape. A used light bulb. Preferably not LED. You will need an X-Acto knife. Definitely some sandpaper. A impact driver. Cornstarch, do not forget it. A third knife. Gonna need a stud finder. Also propane, gonna need a fire. A third tape measure, definitely. A multi-purpose tool only used for the knife. A piece of paper and a sharpie, why? So you can write the word knife. A flashlight, a pair of scissors, and last but certainly not least, the manga underdog's favorite manga, Bleach. Don't forget it, you need all of this to build this basic shelf. Okay people, jokes aside, this is all you'll really need. You'll need a way to put in screws. You can use nails, but in my opinion, you're going to want to use screws. It holds them together better. And you can do that with a standard household drill or a screwdriver. Screwdriver will just take longer. You need some way of measuring your cuts so you can make good cuts. Sandpaper, just to get rid of the edges on your wood. A saw. Now with mine, I do use all power tools, but for demonstration purposes, I'm showing you basic tools that you can use. I bought this saw at a yard sale for 50 cents and it, it works just fine. But if you're like me and you have a miter saw, a table saw, a circular saw, you can make all these cuts just in 30 seconds real quick. And then you need wood. And the wood doesn't really matter. It just needs to be not falling apart. So you can use scrap wood, pallet wood, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy a $10 piece of wood and make three shelves out of it. And if you don't have the saw and you don't want to buy one and you don't know anybody that has a saw or a power saw, you can get Home Depot, Lowe's or your local hardware store to cut the size of the wood for you. Just make sure you're nice to them because most of the people that cut your wood do not like their jobs whatsoever. I made my first couple risers just with basic wood I found out by the side of the road. Someone had a old shelf that was just falling apart and I grabbed a couple piece of wood from it and made my shelves and they work great and they look great. Alright so long story short I am actually doing this video again. I made a whole video and this one right here is the one I made on video but all of the footage got deleted that stinks so here i am again and i'm just going to show you in simpler terms because i do not have any more scrap wood at the moment to make another one i'm showing you two different kinds here and they're very very simple to make as you can see it's one piece of wood with four little legs and you don't even have to have four little legs you can have if you have a thick piece that's tall enough, it, it can just go on the ends like this, and it can just be two legs. So for mine, if you remember, that was five and a half inches. So what I had to do was measure this part and subtract it from five and a half inches, and that would make this piece. I just measured down what I needed, I marked, I drew a little line across, and then I cut it with a saw. And then I used that piece to measure my next pieces. I didn't measure them all out at the same time. I used one piece as the master key to measure each other piece. Now, as you can see, we got two different kinds here. They're both made out of the same wood, but this one has screws going into the top, going down into there, which is a way to do it that works just fine. The screws go down below the surface a little bit so they won't catch on any manga and you can sand it just in case and this one which was actually made on camera that got deleted it is the same way i built this one except for as you can see here i used pocket holes these are just another way to screw in pieces of wood together it's just a way to put them in and to not show 
the screw. It works just as good as this. It just might look a little prettier, but in the grand scheme of things, who is looking at these on the top or bottom? No one. You're always going to have manga on these, and you're not really looking underneath. When you do make these, you want to have your legs all cut out at the same time and you want to put them on the same way for each one. And when you do that, put this in your shelf and see if it wobbles. And it should wobble very little to none and all you have to do is use sandpaper on the bottom of the leg that's tall and it should fix itself right out. You don't need to use shims or jam popsicle sticks or anything underneath. And with these, I don't stain them or add anything to them. I don't paint them because my manga will be sitting on these for a long, long, long time. And I don't know if stain is going to affect the books and rub off on the bottom of the pages. It may or it may not. I'm just not taking the chance and these are uh, fine and nobody's really ever gonna look at them and they don't look that bad in the first place So it is simple as that you have your measurements This was 23 inches if you remember and it was five inches wide and it will take you Five minutes with a little saw like this or like I said if you have a power saw You can cut these all to size and screw them together just with some basic screws. I would say around one inch is one inch for the screws is where you wanna be. And that is all it takes. Also, one quick thing about this way is if you have them available, you may want to use a little drill bit to drill down into where you're going to be putting the screws because sometimes, depending on the wood, it can split when you're sticking screws down in there. If you're using the pocket hole way, you don't need to worry about that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, any person can make these. Man, woman, child, anyone. You just need a little bit of patience. It might take a second for you to get your first one built, but then after that, they start going by so quick. I've made so many of these. I practically should open my own manga riser store and people can order custom any size shelves in any shape, size, or color, how many of these I stink and make. I have these for every one of my shelves because I have so much manga. So these work so good and they look so nice. Thank you all for watching the Manga Sloth. Please like, comment, and subscribe and let me know if this is something that you're gonna make, you're gonna use, or you already have. Also remember, a quick little shout out to my Right Stuff affiliate link down in the comments below. It supports the channel in a way that supports you because every penny that I receive from that affiliate link when you're going to buy your manga off Right Stuff anyway goes right into giveaways. Not a cent goes to me. It all goes back into the channel so I can do giveaways and give manga back to the community for all of you. So if you want more giveaways and you want more chances to win manga, all you gotta do is buy that manga that you normally would from my affiliate link. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you again next time.